Hey, how you doing? Justin here to talk a bit about practice for lesson seven. You know already that's the consolidation stage. I've just been through all of the things that you need to do to pass grade one. So probably as I was going through that, you were already thinking like, well, yeah, I could probably do a bit of work on that. Now, as a rough guide, I would recommend that you've got two minutes on working on your chord perfect, whatever chords are weakest you wanna practice. But if you're cool with all of the chords, then you can skip that bit, change it. The, my practice routine is editable. So you can go through and change up the stuff then get rid of the things that you don't need or add extra time onto the stuff that you really need. I would recommend that you've got two minutes on one minute changes between two of the weakest change pairs. So figure out which chord changes you need to play the songs that you wanna play, make a list of the ones that you find the hardest and then pick two of them and put that into the routine for a little bit until you get them over that 30, maybe 40, maybe 60 changes, depending on what you're, where you're setting your bar for your changes. You wanna try and get them all fairly consistent and at least good enough to, to play in the songs but maybe just two one minute changes sessions. Then I would suggest you do two minutes of strumming in four four with a metronome. Just working on making it feel good. Pick a strumming pattern, play it with a metronome, practice playing it along and making it feel as good and relaxed and as consistent as you can. Maybe adding some fills here and there. <clears throat> Just making sure you keep the hand moving all the time. That's the key thing. If the, if the pattern varies a little bit, that's okay. If you add a couple of strums or you take one away, whatever, as long as you keep your hand moving and you stay in time, you go and fine. I would also recommend that you spend two minutes on the 6-8 time. Now, you might not have picked any songs in 6-8. I think that you should. I would recommend that you pick a song in 6-8 to work on because it is a very, very common time feel and it's a nice one to have. It feels a little different. A very nice thing to have under your belt is to be able to play in 6-8. So again, spending some time with the metronome, just put the metronome on so it's got six clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tick, 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 that kind of tempo. And then practice playing along. Try and, again, it's the same as the 4-4 thing where it wants to feel relaxed. Just because it's a different time series, it doesn't mean that you're allowed to be all tense with it again. It has to be feeling good, feeling nice and relaxed when you do it. Now, if you really didn't get on with 6-8, you're like, don't like any songs in 6-8, rather spend my time working on my other strumming, then do extra practice on the 4-4 on the four, four strumming, on strumming patterns that you're using in the songs that you're playing. Should all be targeted toward the songs that you're working on. And I think that's a really strong reasoning behind anything in your practice routine should be it relates to the songs that you want to play. I would recommend that you spend a couple of minutes on having fun with the riffs that we've checked out so far in the course. Any, any of the riffs that we've done so far, just for fun. You don't even need to play any riffs to pass out. It's just for fun. And there's lots of stuff, as I mentioned a few times, there's lots of things that you'll learn in the process of practicing those riffs that you will find very beneficial. The picking out the notes individually, that kind of thing, which we're gonna do a little bit more of in grade two. Okay, so just find some riffs, have some fun and just enjoy that. And then you wanna be spending 10 minutes working on your songs. Whatever the songs are that you really like, you could spend more time on the songs and less time on the techniques. I think it should be all about playing songs, so that should be where the weight lies. I think half on songs and half on developing techniques that'll help you play the songs is a really, really strong balance. So I would kind of recommend sticking with that maybe, but again, at this point in your journey, you're allowed to fiddle with it a bit if you like. If you're finding yourself struggling with some of the finger stretching stuff still, then it's okay to bring back the finger stretching exercise as well and pop that into this routine. Okay, it's very easy to just drag it from one of the earlier routines and pop it into this one. Um, some of you won't find it necessary, some of you will. Okay, again, it's, it's a little bit adaptable and it depends on you. You might find that the finger stretching thing is something you really feel is holding you back, but you feel confident with the strumming. So you wanna find the little balances now. If there's anything like tuning your guitar, if you're still not feeling confident with tuning your guitar, each time you sit down, just knock all of the strings out of tune, grab your tuner and tune your guitar up. It's only practice is gonna help that. So things like tuning your guitar, it's not gonna go into practice routine. Okay, that, that would just be silly. Go through the list of the things that you need to do to pass grade one, tick them off, make sure that you're confident with each one of those things. And then after a, a week or two's practice, if you're like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm good with all of this stuff, then sit down and give yourself a test. Literally just go, right, I'm, I'm testing out now. Can I do these things? Not your guitar out. 
get them all in tune. Okay, eight of the beginner's chords. Can I play all of those chords? Just go through and tick off all of the things and make sure that you've actually done them, that you're confident with them, and that you're like, yeah, I've done this. And even when you've done it, I would recommend having maybe a month, a whole month, of not moving on to the next grade and just letting this stuff really consolidate and soak itself in. The, the slower you go in these early stages, the better the foundation is, because when things start to get a little harder, if you've got a solid foundation, you'll always find that you, you can kind of fall back comfortably into the things that you can do. Be like, okay, I'll try this other thing. Oh, that's a bit hard, I'll just come back to here. Whereas if that foundation wasn't solid, you'll go to try something that's a bit tricky and go, oh, and then you'll just stop. You won't have a confident place to go back to. So don't be in a hurry. The destination is the journey here, okay? It's not the point to get somewhere. We're enjoying the ride. You want to be enjoying every stage of this, so don't be in a rush to get somewhere. Because at the next place, there's just another place to get to. The journey doesn't end. I'm still learning, maybe more now than I was when I started. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know, and the more you realize there are new things to study all over the place. So don't feel like it's a linear thing where you've got to go like, I've got to get to here, I've got to get to here, because it doesn't finish. And you'll just be in a perpetual race all the time, feeling like you're never going to get anywhere, because there isn't an end point. So you've got to enjoy the journey and enjoy being able to play songs, that you've got these chords that you know, that you've got these strumming patterns you can use, and you can play songs. That's awesome. Be really super happy with that. And don't be in a hurry to rush forward and try and learn new stuff. If you're starting to feel bored of things, you know, yeah, I'm kind of bored of all of these, I'm bored of the songs, great, time, definitely time to move on then, because I don't want you to get bored. You want to try and keep it as fun as you can and learn to recognize in yourself what things are the things that keep you engaged and keep you picking the guitar up and do more of that. Hope you're enjoying the journey so far. I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You know, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.